said 4G LTE has to be expensive? What's going on guys? Marin from PhoneDog.com and yeah, Verizon's kind of priced those 4G devices in that two to three hundred dollar price range for some time now, but they're launching a relatively inexpensive 4G smartphone. It's the Pantech Breakout and it's coming to Verizon soon for $99.99 after a $50 mail-in rebate. So it's under that $100 price tier after a $50 mail-in rebate. So it'll bring 4G LTE to the masses as people that don't want to pay two and three hundred dollars for a smartphone. I love smartphones, you probably do too. But yeah, three hundred dollars is pretty pricey. Three Benjamins for a phone, really? I mean, that's pretty pricey. Let's check out the, unbo or the uh, breakout and the unboxing. But first, special thanks to my buddies at Best Buy because they give us so much love for Houston Wampaw Bandit game. They'll give us all kinds of phones and more. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you're going to walk out working. They're going to help you set up your email, your web, get you set up on the internet, get all those settings, set up your Gmail accounts and more. So when you walk out, you're good to go. You don't have to waste time over the weekend setting anything up. And that's super cool at Best Buy. Pantech Breakout, is it the phone to get with that one gigahertz processor and four inch display? Should you go onto the Droid Bionic? Let's find out. Who says 4G LTE can't be cheap? Here's the Pantech Breakout, and it's Verizon's first $99 4G LTE device. It's coming out pretty soon. I'm gonna check here at my little cheat sheet and see actually what the launch date is. September 22nd, so it is out right now and available at verizonwireless.com. Now it's a mid-range device, it packs a one gigahertz processor, a four inch display. Uh, it's a Pantech device, it has a five megapixel camera. And, uh, but of course it has 4G LTE capability. So for those people that are like, I don't want to spend 249 or 299 for a device, I just want a device that's nice, it's 100 bucks but gets me 4G connectivity, here it is. We're gonna power it on right now. And you can see this device is a little bit thicker like the rest of the 4G devices, but you have your micro USB charging port over here, you have your power button, and then you have your camera shortcut button. Over here, volume rocker, and they have voice command button, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up there at the top. So it's a decent looking device, but you have physical buttons down here. Physical, menu, home, back, and search. And so we'll power that up, and while we're waiting for it to uh, power up, move my hand so you can see the animation, and then we'll see what comes in the box. Let's have a look here. USB cable, AC adapter module, 4G LTE SIM card, master your device, important consumer information, product safety, and warranty information and then consumer information about radio frequency emissions. So some reading material, and then some basic accessories. So you don't get a lot in the box. We'll pull that back in the box there. But hey, it's a $100 device, so you can't complain too much. Now this is running Android 2.3, and it's running Pantex Custom UI over Android 2.3, so it'll be interesting to see how that looks uh, in comparison to some of the others on the market, and perhaps the more, uh, the better adopted ones, if you will, like HTC Sense, or TouchWiz 4.0, or Motorola's custom user interface. Here's what it looks like on the main display. I don't know why airplane mode's on. It must just be activating, or must be a uh, radio must be coming on. But you have the option to either turn the sound off or unlock it by swiping. And here's what it looks like. Apps out of the box include, and it scrolls from left to right. So they've all kind of taken on this iOS. Like if you look at a lot of the, uh, the later builds of Motorola's UI, you look at TouchWiz. You look at this. A lot of them are taking on that left to right scroll as opposed to what came with original Android, where you scrolled up and down. But you get Amazon Kindle, Blockbuster, you get Google Books. And you can see how some of the icons look a little bit differently, or look a little different. You have Clock Tools Converter, Dock Viewer, Email, which is a different looking icon, Net Media, Need for Speed Shift, NFL Mobile, My Verizon Mobile. So a lot of Verizon stuff pre-installed on this, like Guided Tours, Mobile Hotspot, uh, Let's Golf 2, My Verizon Mobile, NFL Mobile, Need for Speed Shift, Rhapsody, Ton of Bloatware, Vcast Media Manager, Music, Tones, Videos, Tune Wiki. Hey, yeah, you have a tip calculator, that's super handy for uh, when you're out and about with friends. VZ Navigator, so quite a few Verizon applications. And unfortunately, on most of the Android devices, and I'm assuming this is no exception, going to applications here, I doubt you can uninstall the Verizon stuff. I don't know why my hands are so slippery today. Let's see here. Scroll down and see if we can uninstall one of the Verizon applications. Let's go down here. Let's go to do, 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 Guided Tours. Nope, no uninstalling there. Let's Golf 2. No uninstalling there, so it's all Pre-installing the device, you can't remove it. So here's the notification bar, and you can see some differences here. You have little shortcuts for silent, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, and data, and then you can extend it out by clicking that button so you have a few additional options. So it's a decent device, you know, and despite only having a single core one gigahertz processor, it's still pretty zippy. I mean, remember, one gigahertz processors aren't that old, and single core, I mean, that was last year's top end. So uh, there aren't really any dramatic, let me pull the call log back to make sure they didn't make any test calls. I just wanna give you a walk through here of what Pantex UI looks like. You can see call log, contacts group, speed dial, you can see up top, the numbers, kind of island numbers there, and a little bit of a different dock down here. But let's go to messaging and take a look at the keyboard. I can sort by date and time, or I can sort 
alphabetically. So little neat touches like that, that's pretty handy little uh, handy little tool where I can sort by my friends in alphabetical order, or I can sort by date and time. So new message, I'm gonna go in here and tap to compose. Now I'm gonna get a couple of keyboard options most likely. I get the Android keyboard and swipe, but you'll notice this doesn't look just like the stock Android 2.3 keyboard. It's a little bit different. It's uh, designed obviously for this particular device. Keys are a little bit more rounded, although you still kind of see the gingerbread color scheme down here at the bottom. But it is a four inch display, so it's right there in that sweet spot of what I've always found to be a very sweet spot for consumers. I happen to enjoy the four inch display personally, but we'll say the quick brown fox headed to Texas for some barbecue. Some barbecue. So it looks like it has some issues. Uh, I'm a pretty fast typer both on screen and with a physical keyboard. It looks like it has some issues keeping up. So if you're a really fast typer, take a look. We're gonna try this again. Seems like it has a little bit of an issue. But otherwise, pretty decent. And of course, you can use it in landscape mode and take advantage of that uh, four inch display, which is a little bit better. Now, why is my airplane mode turned on? I guess I turned it on at some point or it came out of the box turned on. Let's get this 4G kicked on so we can take a look at the browser on the device. You have seven home screens on this. You can see like right now there's a little bit of a lag in between the home screens and I'm scrolling right now and nothing's happening. Now granted the network is powering on right now but still you can see, there we go, moving a little bit faster there. But you can see the seven different home screens. It looks like it comes with some custom Pantech widgets as well. Let's take a look at those. Pantech widgets out of the box. Include task manager, memo, event notifications, weather, music. It's a little bit of a different carousel look here. Social net, integrated clock, it looks like, contacts, calendar. Let's just do this one, for example. And I don't know if I'm doing it. Am I not doing it right? Oh, let's pull it out like that. There we go. And we have a couple of different options. So for a first time, you know, a first version of a so uh, smartphone user interface, they did a pretty decent job. I mean, Pantech's specialty has always been feature phones, or at least recently, their uh, MO has been feature phones. When I meet with Pantech, the past couple of years at CTIA and CES, they've always said, our focus right now is feature phones. So it's nice to see, even though it's a basic, uh, kind of entry level to mid-range smartphone, it's nice to see for a first build that the, uh, the user interface appears to be pretty decent at least. Uh, we'll have to test it more in the coming days. But it looks like I have a combination of clock and weather data. And again, it's a decent looking device. Feels decent in the hand. Now there is no flash in a five megapixel camera. So if that's something that's important to you, you may want to look elsewhere, look at one of the higher end devices. And then the battery, 1,500 milliamp hour battery. So small enough display, even though 4G is a power hog, it's a small enough display where you may be able to make it through the day uh, with moderate use. We'll have to test that out in the full review. But all in all, pretty decent device. I'm really excited that it's bringing 4G to the masses for 100 bucks as opposed to 200 to 300 because let's be honest, not everybody wants to spend two to 300 dollars for a smartphone and if you don't, you're looking for something for mom who wants some fast speeds but doesn't necessarily need HDMI and doesn't necessarily need dual core processors. This is gonna be her device. The Pantech Breakout available now on Verizon Wireless, 100 bucks and we're gonna have much more coverage on it on the site in the coming days, so stay tuned. Be sure to like us on Facebook as well, facebook.com slash phone dog and while we're doing that, I'm gonna load up the browser so you can see how it loads. Facebook.com slash phone dog. We're giving away tablets as part of our greatest tech giveaway ever. Check that out and be sure to follow me on Twitter as well. Phone dog underscore Aaron and on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone dog AB. Let's let phone dog load up here so you can see. 4G continues to be very fast and I'll have speed tests, quadrant standard scores and more in the full review. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend and as always, we'll see you next time.